to me. I'm a scientist. And in my job, I need to know a lot about DNA, genes. Did I hear somebody ask, what's DNA? That is a great and really important question. I'll tell you what, I've written a story about it. Would you like to hear it? It's called Little Letters, an Introduction to Genetics, and it's written by me, Tiffany Taylor, and illustrated by James Malloy. Mary, a scientist, was out for a hike, with her dear daughter Daisy and darling son Spike. Through a forest they followed a dry riverbed, till they saw something move in the shadows ahead. An odd-looking animal stood by a tree, very slowly approached and crouched down on one knee. Its tummy was round and its tail was long. Its shoulders and arms looked athletic and strong. Its ears were a cross between rabbit and cat. Its eyes almost human. Its nose wide and flat. Of all of the creatures the children had seen, it was most like a monkey. Yet it was green. Very said to the creature, Hello, what are you? But it sprang up the tree and swung out of view. As the three were left wondering what they had found, a tuft of green fur had floated down to the ground. Very stowed it away. Come on kids, let's go. And she set off excitedly, children in tow. Is it home time? They asked. Not yet, her reply. We'll stop by the lab first. You'll soon find out why. The scientists zipped round her lab at great speed grabbing test tubes and bottles, equipment she'd need. She poured something over the fur, then sat down. What are you doing? Spike asked with a frown. I want to find out what it was that we saw. With that fur? Spike asked, as confused as before. If we look, she replied, very closely inside it, there's something in there that should help us decide it. Your body, you see, is built up of cells, like the bricks of a house, and in each one dwells a recipe telling each cell what to do. It's what makes me, me, and what makes you, you. It's made up of letters, G, C, T, and A, wrapped up in a molecule called DNA. The four work in pairs, T with A, C with G, and though simple, this code builds complexity. A stopwatch was beeping, she sprang into action, Mix this thing with that to create a reaction. Hang on, Daisy said. So you're telling me that all creatures are made up of A, T, G and C? Yes, four little letters write every part. From a wing, leaf or fin to an eye, leg or heart. Be you butterfly, buttercup, bird, girl or bear. It's the chemical code that all of us share. The letters form pairs which gather together in groups we call genes that instruct your cells whether to make your hair curly, your eyes brown or blue. They tell every part of you just what to do. Spike stared at his mother, scratching his head. But I got my eyes from my dad, you said. Your DNA comes half from dad, half from me. And inside each cell is a mixed recipe. Your eyes take after dad's family line, you be thankful the shape of your nose is like mine. And if you have kids, it will work that way too, with half of their DNA coming from you. Spike looked unhappy. If I'm just my genes, I'm not sure I know what being me means. Will they help me be good, or play football, or spell? What if I don't have those genes in my cells? Barry gave him a hug. You are your genes true. But so much more goes into making you, you. Genes can't make you kind, they won't help you spell. You must practice the things that you want to do well. Your genes play a part, yes, but then so do you. Every bit of your life helps shape who you are too. The home you grow up in, the food that you eat, the things that you do, and the people you meet. So how, Daisy asked her, will this DNA tell us what we saw back in the forest today? Well, I'm hoping that some of it might look familiar and be shared by animals we know that are similar. We'll compare all the letters from every row against DNA patterns of creatures we know. And if most of our mystery beasts are the same, we'll be able to give it an actual name.
the computer went beep, they jumped out of their skin. The letters were read, the results had come in. Holding her breath, Barry looked at the screen, eager to know what it was they had seen. She rubbed at her eyes, gave her forehead a scratch. It's funny, she muttered, it can't find a match. A smile broke out as she spun her chair round. I think it's a wholly new species we've found. Spike danced around the lab, whooping and grinning. We're going to be famous, Daisy was singing. Can I name it, Mum? I think Rinky Ponk Sweet. No, Dinky Donk, Spike yelled out, stamping his feet. Barry hushed for a moment in order to think. If we put them together, we get Rinky Dink. They remembered the creature they'd met in the wood, and all three agreed that the name sounded good. The sun was now setting. Barry said, Ooh, time to go. But Mum, said the kids, shouldn't somebody know? Hmm, given how long they've stayed out of sight, I think, Barry said, we can wait one more night. In bed we can dream about all of the other mysterious creatures we've yet to discover. And just for today, let the Rinky Dink be a secret treasure between you and me. Well, I hope you liked it. And if you want to learn anything more about the Rinky Dinks or DNA and genes, then please just follow the links at the end of this video.